Hello everyone, happy Thursday and welcome back to my channel. Today I feel like I have quite the dilemma and here's what it is. <clears throat> So, as you guys may or may not know, I give my six-month-old formula and I do breastfeed her here and there, mainly during the daytime and like in the mornings. But like throughout the rest of the day and like overnight, I give her formula because I feel like now I'm at a point where she's not able to breastfeed and get enough or I'm gonna have to be cluster feeding her for her to get enough if that makes sense. So I like to go in and give her like a nice six ounce bottle in between. This is what I give her. I'm now finding out that there's a recall on a specific batch number of Enfamil Gentle Ease and I'm absolutely debilitated because this is what I'm putting in my baby's body. I did come on here a couple of weeks ago and I told you guys that she had a diaper rash and it was stressing me out so much and I brought her to the pediatrician and when I brought her to the pediatrician at that point I had worked on it already and it was pretty much like heels you could see the you know like seeing scars sounds crazy but that's the best way to describe it like the scars that something was going on before right it had gotten bad so when I saw the pediatrician he was like oh no you know sometimes diaper rashes get that bad and also um yeast thrives in warm moist areas and the fact that you have the diaper closed up and it is moist you know a diaper rash is susceptible to becoming a yeast infection basically he gave me uh he prescribed something but i didn't pick it up at the pharmacy yet it's been a couple of days since i went to the pediatrician at this boy i didn't pick it up yet mainly because it was already healed now i'm giving her the formula still and i'm like the formula crossed my mind once that the formula could be the issue crossed my mind once but i'm like i've been giving her the same formula for such a long time i'm not even thinking you're giving her the same thing but there are different batches you've been giving her from different batches since you've been giving her so you know i'm just like yeah probably not the formula right right now on the table i have two separate batches two different sets with two batch numbers all together i have 12 cans so i have this batch here and i have this batch here i ended up having to call the fda line today because i'm just like i have 12 cans of formula and yes, the batch number on the ones that I have don't match a batch number online that says that this is the affected batch. But also, it's making her poop. And as a mother, you know when something is affecting your baby and when you've eliminated everything else, you know the one thing that's left that could cause the issue. So the person that I spoke to, she was the absolute sweetest. She's a mom too. She has three kids. You know, we end up having a conversation for a while and she was letting me know that, listen, even though this is not the effective batch number, I am going to put this down and I'm going to set it up where, you know, we could have somebody call you back because I understand your frustration and this is very important, but hold on to the cans that you have, right? So like I said, I have two different batch numbers. The ones that I showed you over there where I have more of that, that's one batch number and the one where I have less, which is four cans, that's a different batch number. The container that I was giving her from is the set that I have more of, the batch number that I have more of, which is this batch over here. So I'm like, what if I tried, because this one is, is the open one that I was giving her, stop giving it to her, right? So I'm like, what if I tried giving her from this batch here, which would be this, and see what it does overnight since I'm home tonight. I'm able to test it overnight and see because every time I give it to her, 10, 15 minutes, she poops. So today, thankfully, because I had breast milk pumped and stored in the fridge, I was able to feed her just breast milk today. And I was able to see a difference in like how many times she pooped and the consistency of her poop. I tried giving her different things today aside from the formula. But she still needs her little bottle of milk here and there. You know, she's six months. So today was just a super stressful day for me. I found, about, I found out about this last night and when I was on my break at work last night, I could not even sleep because it was on my brain so much. Like, what am I going to give her? Because she needs milk. And while I know that I have breast milk in the fridge and I know that they've recalled a specific batch, I have a different batch number that is affecting her stomach. This is a reminder. Water my plants. Alexa, stop. 
you know, so I, I that's I've just really been going through it today, dealing with just that and like I can't even. So I've decided that I just gave her for like supper. I just gave her some of the fruits that I blended yesterday. I blended some pears and apples, and I gave her that, and I gave it to her with some oatmeal mixed in to you know just thicken it up a little bit and give her a little bit more substance. I gave her that about 30 minutes ago she's looking up at the camera she's wondering what i'm talking to you guys can't even see her i gave her that 30 minutes ago she's sitting up in her high chair and um i'm about to give her a bath soon because even when i'm home i still keep her on her same routine right now it's 9 p.m typically i would bathe her around this time um if the nanny is coming i try to bathe her a little bit earlier because by this time the nanny would be here but if it's her aunt i typically tell her aunt to come like a little bit later and like you know but typically I would bathe her around this time and um, give her her little bottle. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to try out one from the batch that I have a smaller amount from. And I pray to God that this batch is good because I have another set due that I have to pick up with the wick, obviously. And it's just stressing me out because I don't know. Like I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. I don't really know. I think tomorrow morning I'm going to go to the Walgreens to see if I can get her prescription one to pop by the grocery store to see if I can pick up like a fresh batch and I want to make sure that the batch that I'm getting has a different batch number from both batches that I have on the table just to give me a little bit of comfort that this is good this is safe and this is fine because I'm putting it in her body and as soon as I'm putting it in it's coming right back out her little butt starting to get the diaper rash again because like she's going so much from like drinking and it's just like oh my god i can't remember having to deal with this when i had my older daughter in jamaica i've never had to deal with something like this before and obviously this is years later and a whole new baby later but gosh and she's been drinking this the entire time the lady that i was speaking to from the fda line too she was like oh you know i think you should call back your pediatrician even though he cleared you and he said that everything was okay just to see if she may have developed an allergy and i'm just like even if she developed an allergy it wouldn't just happen overnight like that she's been getting this for six months why would it now happen at the sixth month you know but she i get it she's just giving me pointers from like one mom to the next but i'm so stressed out so i've separated the formula on the table i have a note on top of this one you know just the whole works i have breast milk thawed in the fridge i think i'm gonna give her this straight just to see how this reacts on its own. I'm not even going to mix it with any breast milk because I want to be able to test this and, you know, see what's up with it. So, I don't know. I feel so bad for her, especially when her little butt was, like, completely raw. Uh, at one point, I couldn't even wipe it with the wipes because even though I use water wipes, it's still something in there where when it touches the diaper rash, she is screaming profusely. Screaming. Anyways, that's what we're up to this week. I've been so super tired. So I've been home all day. And honestly, we've just been in and out of sleep. We spent the entirety of the day inside of the bedroom. We came out here for meals. Like this morning, I gave her some of the cereal too. But I didn't give it to her with any oatmeal. I give it to her with oatmeal once a day because I don't want to constipate her. But, um, you know, we came out this morning for that. To sit up a little typically with her toes a little bit but for the most part we went right back inside of the bedroom and we've been sleeping on and off but um i'm gonna get her together and put her down for bed and stuff like that as you guys can see i'm wearing a different unit this is the one that i came on a couple of weeks ago as well and told you guys that i didn't really like because it was so very thin but you know now when i'm standing here and i'm looking at it on camera i think it looks okay i guess i don't really know when I put her down, I'm going to go into shower and like shower and like wash my hair. But I'm going to wash my hair with my braids in it mainly because I don't really feel like taking it out right now, to be completely honest. The last time I did that too, I think I've had these braids in for since Thanksgiving. But you know how everybody else will have their braids in for a long time and they don't wash it at all? No, baby. Every two or three weeks, I think it's typically every two weeks, I go in one day when I'm off. And I wash my hair with my braids in it. Nine times out of ten, I take it out. The last time, I was just very lazy. And this time, it's not like they're super dirty or anything because my hair smells really good. But a couple of, about a week ago at this point, I went to a party with one of my bestie girl. And uh, we reeked of weed. 
on my baby gauge. I can't believe I'm saying that. I don't even smoke. And so um, I washed that unit and I'm going to wash my hair as well. Just, uh, you know, when I'm off, I just want to be taking care of my hair underneath the braids and stuff. So I'm going to wash it and wear one of my um, microfiber drying cloths to bed tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to go through and like all my scalp and I will probably even take the braids out and redo them. I don't really know. This time I'm probably going to do some straight back smino because I've been wearing the uh, full full glueless wig. You know, I'm not wearing the U part this time. So, you know, I might just go ahead and do the braid straight back. Um, but yeah, that's what I have going on right now. She's sitting here looking at me. She's not hungry. She's not fuzzy or anything. But since I'm home tonight and I have a little bit of time, I want to put her in the bath and like, you know, give her a good 15, 20 minutes in there as opposed to the other nights where it's like a quick little shower and stuff. So we're going to put her in there, spend a little bit of time with her. Are you pooping? Did you poop? No, I'm judging you wrongfully. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're such a drooly girl. You want to take a shower? Would you love to take a shower? You're wearing a little Pooh Bear outfit and you look like Pooh Bear. You guys are so cute. Love you. She's so entertained by me and I don't even have to do anything. I think that's probably a mom thing though. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to love y'all and leave you right here. And I'll see you maybe tomorrow because nothing else is going to happen for the rest of the night. But yeah. I wonder if I'd want to wear this unit to work. I don't really know. I think I had ended up putting a concealer on there that was so dark. That's what the back looks like. This is 24 inches, so it's like on my butt. Literally, so a little bit long for work, you know, I don't want to be doing too much for work Which is why I ended up getting that shorter unit. That's like right here or like right here and like not really doing too much Super easy and simple to deal with, you know, this is a little bit fancier than I'm just going to work so, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna wrap her up. We're gonna take Mimi out. We're gonna run you a bath. Would you like me to run you a bath? Yeah, all right guys see you later Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So cute. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.